Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a dermatologist in private practice in Bangalore from the last 15 years. When we have peeling of the cuticles or the area of the skin which joins the nail, this can be a very painful condition, very irritating condition because it gets in the way of your daily chores like maybe washing your dishes or cutting the vegetables or even when you're eating, there could be a problem of skin irritation which is happening when the cuticles are separated from the nails. Usually, this is a sign of a lot of water work, especially if you keep washing your hands often with hand wash or use a sanitizer often or even uh, if you have a job which makes you wash your hands often like a dentist or a doctor like a dermatologist, we tend to have more dry skin around the cuticles and some people also have a habit of keeping on picking the skin which is there around their nails. So, First, we need to examine if there is definitely a problem with a job or a vocation which makes you wash your hands frequently. If that is the case, then changing to using gloves when you do these jobs could reduce the peeling or the dryness of the skin around the cuticles. But what you should do to care for your cuticles is to always use a very gentle hand wash or a gentle hand soap and use a lot of moisturizer immediately after washing and completely drying the hands. Using Vaseline or olive oil to seal the cuticles at bedtime is probably a good idea. Having biotin and iron-rich, calcium-rich vitamin supplements which can be prescribed by your dermatologist are also a good idea to take care of these cuticles. There are a lot of cuticle creams which are available in the market. Genuinely, I don't know how useful these are. Just a plain Vaseline should do. But remember, if you have a problem which is dry cuticles and the cuticle is separating from the nail, this is a very common nidus for any bacterial or fungal infection. So it is important that you should take good care of your nails. And if you do feel that it is not healing or you are getting any swelling in that area, please do visit a dermatologist. Do not neglect these conditions for long.